Hey YouTube Opinionated Review here, bringing you guys a video on the Ultimate Security app. This one is called 360 Mobile Safe. It's by 360 Mobile Safe and it's in the Big Boss repo for free. 360 Mobile Safe looks to be a um, security company from somewhere out in China based on what I've read in the description in Cydia. And we're going to go ahead and take a walkthrough of this app. It allows you to go ahead and block calls, block SMS and a whole lot more. We're going to go ahead and do a walkthrough. So the first thing we're going to look at block dash records. So when you open up block dash records, the first tab you see down here is where it's going to show your block record. So all of these text messages that uh, you see here, those were blocked also on this side, on the call side. These were blocked as well for me testing it out earlier. So on this side right here where you have the blacklist and whitelist, you can go ahead and add the number that you want to be blocked on this side. You just touch the plus button, go into your... your um contacts or you could even enter it manually and just add the number that you want to be blocked and whenever that number sends a text message or call to you it's gonna automatically blocked inside this app and it's gonna be recorded inside the app as well right so let me just go ahead and actually send a text message to show you guys that it actually does block it and it should pop up in here. Now you don't have to be inside the app for this to work. The app is gonna work whether you're inside the app or if you're not inside the app. So you guys can see the text message that I just sent actually popped up in here. And it's not gonna pop up inside inside your um <clears throat> your messaging app if you configure the settings to, to not pop up. So I'm gonna show you guys that as well. So on the last tab over here, you have a number of settings you could go ahead and customize. Up top here for block mode, you could go ahead and block only the blacklist. You can go ahead and just do the standard, which is uh block blacklist block messages from strangers so if the number is in your contacts is going to automatically block it out and smart identify trash messages you have only at contacts only whitelist a number of things you could do or you could go ahead and set up a custom profile and then you could go ahead and just selected a uh, number of different parameters in here that you want it to use i like to just leave it on only block the blacklist so down here you have night mode where you can uh, configure it to only operate within a, a certain time. On the bottom here you have decline call. So if somebody calls you, you can put a decline call, pretend the line is busy, answer and hang up immediately, mute the ringer or just ignore the call. So you can go ahead and put the indicate in your missed call. So if I don't want this to be indicated in my missed call when I, I um, block the number, it's not going to show up in my missed call. If it's here, then it's going to show up in my missed call. I could also put the auto reply message so you can put whatever message you want to be sent to that number that was declined. I'm not too sure what the filter words is for. There's no description or what's not. Here you can go ahead and indicate it inside your status bar or you could go ahead and indicate it on the icon itself. If I turn that on, it's going to respring, so I'm just going to leave it on. And if you want, here is where you want it to just um, store your records. So if you want it for two months, store permanently, never, one week, etc., etc., you could go ahead and configure that. So now that we already talked about the block records and stuff, let's check out the settings, the settings tab. You have a couple, a couple of settings you could go ahead and configure in here. You could put on there service which I if I'm not mistaken is free you don't have to pay for it because I'm, I'm not being charged anything really um, the status bar icon up here if you don't want that on up there you could go ahead and turn that off vibrate and you can see here vibrate is spelled wrong and inside the description in Cedia they said that is the first port and the translations and stuff may be off so if you see some incorrect spelling don't go ahead and sweat it because it's a Chinese company they're not fully English so they're doing their best and different um, updates will go ahead and fix those minor stuff I know you grammar Nazis be over, all tripping over stupid shit uh, you could go ahead and disable the preview messages, show hang up in the status bar, show contact number. You can go ahead and add a passcode for numbers only. You could auto check for updates. And here you could join some experience, use some um, 
UE improvement plan. I just turned that off. Sounds like something you gotta pay for. Now, I don't think you have to pay, but I just turned it off. Now, for the private spaces, here is where you can go ahead. I already set up my password, so I'm just gonna put it in and enter and record stuff in here. So, let's say, for instance, if you have a chick that you always text and people always mind your business, always checking your phone, you could go ahead and enter her number in here. And every time she sends you a call or a text message, it's actually going to record inside this app instead of inside your messaging app and your um, your call. So nobody would know besides you because as you can see right here, it says private. It has a passcode. So you could go ahead and do all of that. You have a number of different settings over here. that are just a bunch of simple settings. So this uh, is extremely cool. So you have uh, five different chicks. Uh, Two, two, two guys that you check, ladies. <laughs> you can go ahead and enter those in there, your friends, whatever. Here on the strong box, you can go ahead and um, store photos and stuff. So you can go ahead and put what photos you want here from your photos app, your voice recording, videos, messages, etc., etc. On this side over here, the app lock. You can actually go ahead and lock your apps from inside here so I'm, i already have my music app so you see all your apps here you can go ahead and just configure just select them and you see i have my music app selected right there so if i go out and i try to go inside my music app you can see the password comes up and i could just go ahead and enter the passcode and then my music app is going to open up if i enter the incorrect passcode it's going to tell you the passcode is incorrect so you can't get inside your music app so let's go ahead and go back into this app right here so i like that sentence i told you this thing has so much different settings now the ant Anti-locating, I'm not too sure what it says, protect your location, because every time you touch on it, it goes to your, your locations, and I was expecting actually like a passcode or something, so I don't really understand what's this setting for, because it just goes to your location settings inside your settings app, so I'm not too sure what that does, if it does anything at all. System clean is kind of like a C, a C cleaner for your system. You could just go ahead and clean out useless stuff. You can see it refreshes. It told me it's three apps right here that are running and also trash files. So I could just go ahead and just hit system clean. It's just going to go ahead and clean up my system, get rid of the junk. Now you see it's 100%. Nice little feature. You know, the anti theft is kind of interesting. So let's go ahead and go into the anti theft settings, right? You're going to have to turn it on if you want it to be on. So you could have this thing notify you to a safe number that you have to configure. I already configured my safe number. And every time every time you, your um, SIM card is switched out, it's going to send the text to that safe number. Right here it says trigger warning. Uh, if you want to send, you, have, you would have to send a text from your safe number to um, this number here. And it has to be alert number and your passcode for um, this, for this that you have to configure. And it's gonna go ahead and, and trigger this alarm right there. Now the one I'm gonna demonstrate for you is the lockdown one, the one that says lockdown iPhone. What you have to do is do it with lock. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and do it. And it's gonna automatically lock my device. So what I have to do right here is, I would have to go ahead and send lock I, it says I do it exactly how it says lock number sign and then my passcode for this is 0001234 so now I'm going to go ahead and hit send and it should lock down my device so there you go you can see it just locked down my device it normally gives you a feedback tool on your on the phone you see I got a feedback letting me know that it had it did go through so when I try to go inside my device it's gonna be locked I have to put in my passcode even no matter what I do if I try to go into the camera side it's not gonna work have to put in my passcode so I'm just gonna put in my passcode and if you put in the wrong passcode it's not gonna work it's gonna try to verify it. Passcode incorrect. You guys can see right there. So let me just go ahead and put in the right passcode. It's zero 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 that I have for the app. Boom. Now you can see my uh, phone is unlocked again. I can go back in, which is and that alarm. And you can see it gives me a feedback, letting me know that the phone was unlocked. So if that person has your passcode, you're screwed. <laughs> but this can all be done with mobile me as well. But yeah. It's just an extra feature that you have if you want to go ahead and use it, especially if you don't have mobile me configured. 
So last but not least, at the bottom down here, you have this um, network settings thing, whatever. This uses like your network. This has to do with your data. So you can see, I guess it keeps track of the data you use. You can do speed tests. And over here, you have network settings. So flow, flow packages, you could go ahead and configure that. I didn't tinker around with this too much. So, but you could go ahead and put your data limit um, when your monthly bill starts, etc., etc. It's kind of like a tracker, so you can go ahead and track your data usage with this um, tweak or app or whatever you guys want to call it. So yeah guys, this one is called 360 Mobile Safe. As I said, it's free in the Big Boss Repo. Definitely go ahead and read the description in CDL before you use it. You guys can see right here, it has the features that we went through as well. It's a nice all-in-one security app, has a number of features, probably an eye blacklist killer, and it's free. So yeah, it's a matter of preference if you want to get it or not. With that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day. Make sure you show that thumbs up button some love. And if you aren't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button above. Like my Facebook fan page and follow me on Twitter. I answer questions a lot faster on Twitter than I do on YouTube. Oh yeah, and check out my previous video if you haven't already.